All right. So I have my warp right here. And if I want to add fringe, and actually I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half because I don't want my fringe to be quite as long. So you want to make your piece of yarn double the length of the fringe that you want. You could make it even longer and trim it afterwards. Then you take both ends and fold them, put them together and fold the yarn. So you have a loop. The loop goes under the yarn of the warp. And then you can just pull those two legs through and tighten that. And so then I'm going to just move along the next piece of warp. Yeah, it's one loop and then two pieces of fringe. What happens is I'm just, I only have five warp threads on this little thing. So, um, I'll show you once I go back. If I did this all the way up the warp, what's gonna happen is these threads are gonna be individual. So they're, they're gonna be holes in them, right? Because there's nothing connecting them. So then I'll start tying it like a building block. So if I was just gonna do like one pass of fringe, you know, I just wanted like one line of fringe, I would just do it one thread per warp really based on what you're weaving and what you want it to look like. But if I want to go up again, so now that I have all of these on, if I want it shorter, you know, then you can take your fringe and cut it if you need to. If you want it all to be a specific length, you can wait till it's all put on. I like to do it row by row. So now I don't want to keep building up on the same warp thread because it's going to have a hole. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is take two warp threads and do the same technique. Mm -hmm. And then for the next one, I'm taking two warp threads. So I only have five warp threads on this little line here. So I'll just do a single one on the next one. So it's two, two, and then one, and then it'll be opposite on the way back. So I'll go back this way and have two, two, one, so that it's like a brick, laying a brick, you know, where they're overlapping. I would just treat this like a frame loom, like oh. just keep them all together. Don't don't lift up a shed. Here, I'm just gonna do. Okay. okay. So for the wrapping, you just take your shuttle, and when you go underneath, you want to make sure to come around this loop. I'm just getting everything out of the way. So I'm going around and I don't want to go underneath the loop like this. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure my shuttle goes around it. And it's nice to have the yarn on a shuttle to do this just so it stays contained. I'll do one more slow one while it's recording. So the shuttle goes underneath and when it comes up, instead of going under that yarn, it goes through that loop that's been made. And cool. then you have like this little kind of nice edge along here, right. but it's, it's like one of those friendship bracelets. <laughs> 